So I'm Eric Misafuka here with the Epson Moverio BT100, and here it is. It is a completely transparent display. So Epson is most well known for printers, scanners, and projectors. Um, and the reason why we're in this category is because we have a micro projector in each leg, and it is actually using a series of light guides to um, uh, basically project a virtual floating 80-inch image in front of you. Um, you'll notice that the display is completely transparent. It's also completely private, so no one can actually see what you're, you're looking at. The product is very unique in that it has two screens and thus can render 3D content in your actual space. Notice also that the screens are centered in your field of view, so you can do overlay of um, real objects. You can do digital overlays over real objects in your field of view. Included with the Moverio is actually an Android powered control unit. So we do run the full Android operating system um, via a touchpad, which is seen here. Um, it does support Wi-Fi, so you can stream any number of content. Also has a micro SD card slot for local storage of content as well. So what we've got is uh, um, the webcam is feeding um, the graphics to the laptop. The laptop's doing the image processing, and then feeding out graphics to both the laptop screen and a VGA out. VGA out is being transferred back to the Moverio via um, uh, uh, video input wafer board um, that uh, Epson provided for us. Um, we hope that in future uh, future versions of hardware will have it all contained. But that's where we're at right now. Um, so uh, yeah, let's get started here. So it's right now. You can see the screen. It's showing exactly how he should hold his hands to avoid the danger of crushing. And it's showing him exactly which um, nuts need to come out so that he can remove the the head. And it can move around at any angle. And, yeah, still... You know, it's properly scaling and moving the digital content to actually show me what I need to do. So if you were, you know, a brand new mechanic, you might actually not know what the shaft seal was. You might not exactly know um, exactly the best way to do it. And this provides you intuitive visual guidance on what to do. And so the next step is going to be to measure the, um, the shaft diameter. So we want to replace the shaft if it's going to be less than a specified uh, width. Then we're going to hold them up against the uh, <coughs> camera and snap a picture of it. And so that camera uh, picture will be stored in a maintenance record so that if the piece of machinery breaks down at any point in the future, we can go back and see visual evidence that the measurement was properly taken, <coughs> what the measurement was, and so it kind of ensures that uh, if a mechanic, uh, lots of mechanics tend to just write down a random number instead of actually doing the measurement. So this makes sure that it actually is done and we have video evidence that it was done properly. And here's another cool project that uh, our partners at Apex Labs developed with the Moverio. It's actually an add-on that includes a camera, mic, and a full motion sensing package, which includes IMUs and magnetometer. Um, and it allows you to do kind of hands-free uh, navigation. So if you look at the, what, what's on this screen of this uh, uh, phone, this is actually, I'm moving the glasses right now and in the center is a cursor. So you can actually select items and it's, it's, hands -free, it's a hands-free navigation system that they call North, that is their, called their North Star system. So basically you can look around for different reference points in your actual space, you know, and you can actually get more information and make um, selections based off of uh, just looking around. So there's Ed, Ed saying, hey, this trail looks awesome, you should look at it. And I'm going to try to look at his camera view from his glasses. And I can get a peek of what he's seen on the trail. But it's basically, um, Apex Labs has built out not only kind of cool modified hardware, but um, an entire platform that actually um, supports smart glasses. So we're here with 
another developer project on based on the Moverio BT100. What this is is actually a night vision system um, with IR emitters, all in a custom 3D, 3D printed housing to fit onto the Moverio, as well as an IR camera. Um, the unique thing about this project is since it's built on the, the, a transparent display, is that you can actually move from dark situations to lit situations seamlessly and still maintain kind of full situational awareness. The other real benefit of this versus an existing night vision system is that you'll never be blinded out. So imagine a unique use case for search and rescue um, when power is out and let's say there's a flood like in uh, during Hurricane Sandy for instance and um, uh, the search team um, is out in the daylight they could actually wear this system and see into dark areas, something you wouldn't be able to do with a traditional system.